Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 150 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of PCI of a Lima to LAD distal anastomosis. The patient had a recent coronary bypass graft surgery and had continued angina. He underwent coronary angiography that demonstrated the severe lesion of the distal anastomosis. And this was considered the culprit for the patient's symptoms. We can see the same lesion in the RAO projection. And we also see the significant tortuosity of the left internal mammary artery. So the patient had an attempt at an outside institution to recanalize this lesion to deliver a stent. However, no stent could be delivered to this area because of the tortuosity. And he was referred to our institution to either try to deliver a stent or, if that was not successful, to treat the native LADCTO instead. We started with a bifemoral approach. We knew this was going to be a challenging lesion to treat, whether we treated the Lima anastomotic lesion or the native CTO. This is a bifemoral approach. We engage the IM with a 7 French IM guide and the left main with an EBU 375 guide. We can see on dual injection that uh, there is uh, a tenting of the vessel, which makes it quite challenging to understand what the course of the vessel is going to be. This is common with bypass grafts. They tent the native vessels and can make it difficult to recanalize the native coronaries. We knew that this was going to be challenging, so we used uh, from the beginning a microcatheter. Specifically, we chose a Caravel, which is a very soft microcatheter, to minimize any straightening of the lima and the potential accordioning effect that could lead to ischemia. We did use a workhorse Minamo guide wire, and the guide wire with the support of uh, the microcatheter was actually able to be advanced through the lesion all the way to the distal LAD. We did have quite some difficulty advancing the microcatheter, but finally, once the wire went distally, we were able to get the microcatheter all the way down to the distal LAD. However, and this is one of the problems that is known to happen when performing PCI in Lima, straightening of the Lima from the guide wire did cause this accordioning effect or pseudo lesion effect. And we can see that flow is much worse now and the patient actually did have some chest discomfort and EKG changes. So we know that this is not a position we can maintain for a long period of time, and we have to move fairly quickly. We were able to advance a 1.0 millimeter subfire balloon, which is our go-to for challenging the liver lesions. That delivered well, and then a 2 balloon after that. We continue to have a poor flow down the LAD, and now we decided to try to deliver a stand. We first tried a 25 by 15 millimeter drag eluting stand, did not work. And then we switched to an Orsiro stand, which is a thin strut, more flexible, and potentially more deliverable. We were also using the independent hand technique. The left hand was pushing on the Lima guide. The right hand was trying to push the stand. And with steady forward pressure, we see here that the stand is actually trying to make it. It has this uh, V-bend configuration across the Lima bend. We check the guide. The guide was still in position. And actually, by leaning on the guide and keeping the steady forward pressure, slowly the stand actually did make that bend and then could be delivered down to the anastomotic lesion. So multiple things we did to, assume, to achieve the delivery. We used the seven French guide. We did use the independent hand technique. We did uh, try to deeply intubate the guide. Of course, there is the risk of dissecting the lima, so that should be done with care. And then we used a relatively short, thin strut thread, and we predilated the lesion. But the key for the success of delivery in this case was actually the independent hand technique the left hand was supporting the guide catheter, keeping it in place with forward pressure. At the same time, the right hand was providing steady push on the stand that made it through the tortuosity. We had a trickle of flow, but we were able to decipher what was the location of the lesion, also using the surgical clips. Deployed the stand. And 
We still do not have law, but again, this could just be because of the tortuosity. Of course, there is a, pos a possibility here that we have a dissection, and if we don't detect this, that can be a problem. But again, the patient is having chest pain, flow is very poor, and this is a calculated risk. Um, we did postulate inside the stent, and we decided to pull the wire back. Our, our intent actually was to pull the wire a little back and leave the radiopaque portion of the wire through the stand, since it's the soft part of the wire. However, the wire did jump back. But fortunately, once we inject it, we actually have a good Dimitri flow in the vessel and there's no dissection or other problem. We had some dampening at this pressure, so we removed uh, the guide catheter, the seven French IM, and went back with the six French IM diagnostic catheter. This is a woolly wire. And we had difficulty actually getting in. And you can see here the wire actually went into the lima. That's the wire going into the lima. When that happens, you don't want to remove it. You just want to leave it there and then use this as a rail, actually, to advance the catheter. And this is what eventually happened. And this is the final result. We have uh, no dissections, excellent timothy flow. Also, we need to check the proximal portion of the lima in case there is some osteal dissection, but there was none. So we did get a nice final result into this challenging lesion. Several lessons. The first one is that we don't really see this very often. IM grafts have excellent long-term patency. However, once in a while, there are significant lesions, for example, this anastomotic lesion. And actually, this is the most common location for these lesions. The second one is that uh, PCI through the internal mammary artery grafts is challenging because of tortuosity often. There was a lot of tortuosity in this particular patient. And the way to tackle that is to use a microcatheter, a soft microcatheter like the Caravel we used in this case, and use soft guide wires because stiff guide wires are more likely to make worse the accordioning effect and decrease the undergrade flow. Stand delivery can be challenging through this very tortuous often grafts. One way to overcome these problems is to use a shortened stand, use a thin strand stand, prepare the lesion well, have a good kite engagement, and I think most importantly for this particular case, use the independent hand technique, having the left hand truly support the guide, prevent the back movement of the guide, while at the same time we use the right hand to push the stand to the desired location. If uh, there is poor flow, that can be a problem, and that means we may have to give our position and let the vessel um, resume under great flow. But for a few minutes, as it happened in this case, the patients can often tolerate this, and uh, the procedure was successfully completed in that way. Thank you.